Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I want to take a look at a new World War II game that was just announced called Battalion 1944. A lot of you recommended that I check this out, but admittedly I went into it fairly skeptical. This is a Kickstarter game, and while there have been a few Kickstarter success stories, usually these developers promise the world and then fall very, very short of those promises, and it's just a massive disappointment. After reading what they want to go for with this game, though, I'm crossing my fingers that that's not going to be the case with Battalion 1944. I really like what they're trying to do with this game. And so at its core, it looks like this is going to be a skill-based shooter. From what the developers have described is that they want it to be where if you have put a thousand hours into this game and you go toe-to-toe -to -toe against someone who's only put, let's say, two hours, you're not going to have an inherent advantage with unlocks that are exclusive to you. There's actually not going to be a progression system with unlocks at all. If you jump in for the very first time, you're going to have access to all the same weapons, all the same attachments, everything in the game from the very start, and you're not going to be at a disadvantage to someone who has put in the time. You may not know how the game functions as well, they better, they may have a better understanding of the mechanics, but at least with regard to the weapons, you're not going to be at a disadvantage. I really like this system. It's got a few problems, and we'll get to that here in a second, uh, but not being on that progression wheel and having this disparity between new and veteran players, I think is actually really refreshing. Uh, you compare this to pretty much any first-person shooter that has come out lately, uh, I would say Battlefield 4 is probably the worst offender of it. In Battlefield 4, I've spent a thousand hours in that game, and I still do not have every attachment unlocked for all of the weapons. It, it's insanity, and so for someone who was getting new into Battlefield, seeing this mountain of progression that they have to unlock to feel like they can compete with everyone else can be a little daunting. And so what I'm liking about Battalion 1944 is that they're just pretty much doing away with that and just going back to the core of what makes a fun first person shooter. You jump on in, you have all the weapons available to you, and if you've got the skill and you know what you're doing, you're going to be very successful. The problem with this type of system, though, is that there are a lot of gamers out there that need this progression system to get satisfaction out of these shooters. As soon as they get to the highest rank or they unlock everything, they get bored for whatever reason. I know this may sound very bizarre to some of you because it's like, why would you play those video games to begin with? I mean, you should be playing games for the fun of it, but there are people out there that have that type of mentality. If you don't believe me, look no further than Blizzard's Overwatch. They sent out a lot of uh, closed beta invites for an entire weekend. They kind of opened up the floodgates and one of the biggest critiques of it was why am I going to continue to play this if there isn't any progression? I know it sounds really weird, but there are people out there that have that type of thought process. And so one way that they're working around this in Battalion 1944, and I think it's a really good idea, is that the progression is going to come from ranking a ranking system. You're going to be able to compare your rank from other players, uh, but also with their cosmetic items. They really look like they're going to want to flush it out and make the cosmetic items unique enough where you can make a soldier that is distinctive to everyone else. You're going to be able to carve your name into your weapon, you're going to be able to have different camos, different patches, and while they're not going to go super flamboyant, you're not going to be able to have a red or rainbow jumpsuit, they're not going to push it that far, they want to make it authentic to World War II and stuff that you would see during this era, uh, they want to allow you to be able to customize your character so that people are able to recognize you on the battlefield. I think this is a really clever way of working around this problem, but also still maintaining that skill shooter, what they're going for. Uh, another thing I've been really impressed by are the graphics. For being an indie game, this looks pretty good. Granted, it's not as good as maybe a AAA game because they don't have the budget and the resources to create these assets, but because this is running on Unreal Engine 4, some of these environments look amazing. As soon as they started to show gameplay and pictures of the forest environments, they looked of really high quality. I was kind of blown away by the amount of foliage that were on some of these maps. And while once again, this is a Kickstarter game, it may not be a true representation of what we're gonna be getting when it finally does go live, but if they're able to maintain this graphical fidelity, uh, this has the potential to be one of the nicest looking indie games that we've gotten in quite some time. One of my biggest issues with a lot of World War II indie shooters is that while mechanically they're a lot of fun, they usually look like hot garbage, and I'm hoping that this is going to be the exception. 
Uh, but overall, this has made me really excited about Battalion 1944. It is a Kickstarter, and so I have my reservations. I feel like a broken record at this point. Like, I don't want to get the hype too high here, uh, but as long as they're able to deliver on their promises, this has the potential to be a very exciting new World War II shooter, and I'm really hoping that they're going to be able to deliver. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on this title. Are you getting a little bit excited? Do you not care at all, and you're going to hold your judgment when it finally goes live and we are able to play it? Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.